the RSI, the Relative Strength Index, we use it to identify either strengthening or weakening trends and overbought and oversold positions. In other words, is this stock too expensive or is the stock priced appropriately? Hey everybody, Steven Sitkowski here. I'm the Chief Investment Officer and Co-Founder for Market Mastery Group. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm doing a series on technical analysis, which is the art of learning how to read a chart, trying to figure out whether a particular stock is more likely to go up, down, or sideways. And so we look for these various signals. And in this particular lesson, I am going to be talking to you about something known as a uh, relative strength index, which you may or may not have uh, heard of previously. So this is referred to as an RSI, relative strength indicator, and it tells you the magnitude of recent price change. In other words, are we seeing that the uh, strength of this trend is moving up or is the strength of the trend moving down? And it also helps to identify stocks that have become overly exuberant, meaning overbought or oversold. So the RSI, as I'm about to show you, runs on a scale from zero to 100. If it is over 100, and we're gonna look at this on an actual chart in a minute, uh, but if it's over 70, then it is considered overvalued. In other words, the price is too high relative to its historical metrics. Now, let me just say something. A stock can remain overpriced for weeks sometimes, but it's a really nice alert for us to be able to look at that and go, hmm, okay, how much longer can this continue to run up? On the other hand, when we see a stock and the RSI is under 30, it is considered to be undervalued. In other words, it, it became out of favor and the selling was excessive. It also, again, tells us whether the trend is strengthening or weakening. And it measures the last 14 periods, which for us would be the last 14 trading days. So with all of that, how about we look at this on a chart? So what you're looking at is just a basic, unadorned candlestick chart that takes place over a period of six months. And let's just look at the general stock market. That's the SPY. And I am now going to add the relative strength index, 14 periods, which will appear down here. Okay, so remember what I said, let me blow this up a little bit. Anytime that the RSI drops below 30, it is considered oversold and when it crosses back up above 30, then it is trying to return to its mean. In other words, it is likely for that stock to go higher. Now, we don't trade just based off of an RSI. It's just one of several indicators that we look at when we're trying to evaluate um, a stock. You'll also notice over here, it got above 70. And when it crosses below, then what happens? Then it is indicating that it's likely to come down, in this case, to its mean. When you get these nice runs like this, it's typically when the stock is doing well. So notice, so back over here, what did we see? RSI was going up, but then it got into that, hey, this might be too pricey, and then look what happened. It ended up dropping. And then down here, it was oversold, and then it crossed above and the stock began to 
take off. We are now getting close to that 70 level again, aren't we? We're a little away from it. But at that point, then we would consider this stock to be overbought. Let's look at Apple. So Apple was overbought for a long period of time and it kept going up and then noticed. So this is almost like, like a warning. It's like, hey, this thing's overbought. It's been overbought for a long time. Then it crossed down back below. Shortly thereafter, the stock dropped. And then it got into oversold just for a little bit and really started making its move here. And what did the stock do? Started making its move as well. How about Marvel Technologies? I'm just picking random stuff so you can see how it works. Notice here how it bounced off of the 30, started going higher, stock went higher with it. And then let's look right here. You see it bounced off the 30 again and the RSI started going higher. And what did the stock do? Started going higher. So the RSI, the Relative Strength Index, we use it to identify either strengthening or weakening trends and overbought and oversold positions. In other words, is this stock too expensive or is this stock priced appropriately? Another great indicator. If you enjoy this and you really want to learn how to trade the financial markets, then might I suggest tune into one of my free webinars. I do a couple of those a week to register. Just click and we'll take some basic information, send you out an invitation, send you out some reminders, and I hope to see you soon. Till then, God bless everybody.